Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome back to the greatest show on earth, Famous Fortunes, with your host, Lord of the Rings, Lord of Famous Fortunes. Let's get into an episode. I'm seeing on the rumor mill today that, uh, guess what? The the plot thickens in House um, Sussex, I guess we would say. House Sussex, that uh, they're going for a third. A third baby's on the way. So we're going to investigate this today. Could, could there be truth to this? Um... I suppose many people in the comments will be asking, what about the first and second? <laughs> they have to exist, right? <laughs> I know, I know we're going to get that. I know we're going to get that today. I, even the body language guy today, he uh, he said in the comments, not the comments, in the thumbnail, he said in the thumbnail, he was hinting at, the, at it being a fake thing. I know, we all know. Anyway, I want to share something with you nice before I dive into today's reading, and that is my prized turquoise ring from Persia. I want to share that with you. Why am I sharing this with you today? Because I have oiled it. I want you to know, let it be known. I know it may look a little bit shiny to your eyes and that's because it has been oiled with oud perfume. Let that be known. And it's quite special. So I'm um, very underneath as well. It smells, I wish you could smell it. Really, it's quite something. Actually, where is the bottle? Let me show you. In fact, let me have some tea. Keep you in suspense. This is, I picked this up. It's, it's, Honestly, it's it's glorious. It's out of this world. Um, I would open the little glass sort of dispenser, but it's it, it's quite sticky, and I don't want it to drip anywhere because it's 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 yeah, it's it's quite something. Very strong. Uh, you don't need much. It is um, it is quite something. I have to say, apparently, this is oud and black rose. Now, I can't really smell the black rose too much, but it's. It's quite something. It's very musky. Ooh, it's it's out of this world. I've never experienced anything like this. Now, the man I bought this from told me that uh, Turquoise loves Oud. So and he actually sent it to me with... And I smelt it. I actually messaged him. I go, what is this amazing thing? And he sent me this... He sent me this link to get this stuff from Europe or something. I don't even know. And uh, it was ridiculously expensive. I never got it, but <laughs> I never got it. But I did get some locally, and let's just say it's uh, I'm very happy with it. But anyway, I'm gonna share that with you, sharing with you a bit of joy today. Let's get this bad boy on. In fact, there's already a hair that's been attracted to the face of that. Unbelievable, unbelievable, folks. Let's get into it. This is my prized ring from. I've mentioned this before. The oldest turquoise mine in the world. Let that be known. All right, crystal addicts. Uh, represent in the comments. Thank you. So moving on, let's dive in to also quick, just to quickly, just quickly, if I can, just quickly, I want to say, um, I, I see that a number of people in the comments are quite, um, excited about the course, the course materials, uh, let's say, and also, you know, private, pro, you know, private sort of, you know, contact if you've got like kind of issues or, paranormal activity or whatever and so suspect you think someone's doing something on you or whatever you know someone's you know needs some help in that sort of way then i'm certainly uh, i think that's something i'm uh it'd be interesting to do so in any event um i don't know like a like an uh, like, I don't know, what do you i don't even know what i'm gonna call myself <laughs> just it's just gonna be cool all right i'm looking forward to it all right so with that all said what am I, what do I, what do I do? I don't know. I'm not going to say exorcist or anything. All right. Okay. So let's dive in. Is, are Harry and Meghan trying for a third child? Let's, let's just throw the cards. Cards are hot. You'll never guess the underlying energy. The strength card. The two of swords. The queen of wands. This is this is going to be an interesting reading. Buckle your seatbelts. All right, buckle your seatbelts. Uh, the five of one, uh, five of cups, and the two of cups. Underlying energy here. The page of wands. Page of wands. Right. 
uh, and also the Six of Wands. So that is very interesting. And yeah, Harry's archetypes here as well, the, the Prince of Wands. Now, I do have this bracelet on today. I'm going to take it off. Uh, I have It broke. I have this um, lapis bracelet. It broke and I've re-threaded it with some jewelry, whatever, you know, just some stuff lying around jewelry, whatever it is. But uh, I lost quite a few chips. But uh, in any event, classy, I know. <laughs> Goes well with the ring, right? <laughs> It doesn't. I know it doesn't. All right. It's, uh, all right. So, uh, thanks for the flyover um, as I'm recording. All right. So, in any event, uh, where do these things come from? Uh, <laughs> it comes out like a paraglider or something. All right. Page of Wands is a child. Now, it looks like they're trying to force something here. They're trying to force something, but it's not happening. Is that what's happening here? They're trying to force something. I want to just be, I'm going to straight up. This isn't gaslighting. This isn't, this isn't just another hot air story for what I'm seeing. All right, on the cards. Maybe we'll get to that. Maybe that'll change in the next few readings that we do in today's episode. But right now, I think this is something to take a little bit, you know, look a little bit deeper at. Don't just sort of have that knee jerk reaction of, you know, Sussex propaganda. You know what I mean? Like just ease up on that just a little today and just see the cards first and then make your mind up. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, you get in the comments and just go Sussex propaganda, but at least listen to the readings first, all right? I know many of you have probably already put that in there. I'm sure there's a dozen comments already going, this is just the usual. Um, and to have a third child, you need to have two children first. I'm, I'm well aware of it. So there is a sort of loss here, like a, a, a sadness and a loss. But also, too, there's a woman that wants to create here. Now, this could very well be a birth mother situation or someone, a woman with a will. That's what I'm going to say. This is a woman with a will. And the way may be blocked, but they're trying to force it, right? They're trying to force it anyway. So um, there's some, it's quite an emotional thing, but also there's, you know, two people are coming together here. <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> oh boy, didn't expect that from the Two of Cups today, did you? Uh, we also here we have the Prince of Wands. Uh, this is Harry's archetype. Harry wants this. Harry wants this. Harry wants this. Harry wants this. Oh, there you go. Okay, all right. So Harry wants this. How does Megs feel about this? Because there you, you could make the argument Harry's keen. She's not so keen. Let's let's. Harry's keen. All right. Harry's keen. Harry's keen. His brother has what three kids? So I mean, there's always competition, right? It's always competition. Uh, let's ask, how does Megs feel about having her on? And let's ask, how would that even happen? That's that's another question we're going to ask today. Movie magic, I guess. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Uh, is she keen on having a third? Cards are hot. Also, too, that ooh didn't cost the earth. I'm going to say, I'm surprised. The one I saw online was stratospheric. I mean, it was just unbelievable. Uh, well, I think it was like 100, well over $100, so like three mils. I was like, damn, hell no, 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 no to that. But um, in any event, this one was really quite a good value, I have to say. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. How does Megan feel about having another one? Um, I should really be dishing out with my ring hand today because this is this is my prized turquoise ring, Prince of Pentacles. How does M M Megan feel? Justice, justice. That's a weird card to have. Um, okay, uh, ten of c cups, ten of cups. Next card is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so underlying energy, Page of Swords. Now, I speculated that she might not want it. I don't think that's the case. I think Paige is an interesting card as well. Uh, there's some interesting energy here. This is it. So there's, she, I think there's, uh, this is her capacity as a, okay, this is a birth mother card, right? Now, is that Megan? Maybe. Uh, now I'm going <laughs> to, this is quite interesting pairing of cards, this Queen of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles. It's kind of like, the Prince of Pentacles is kind of, suggests, okay, how can I say this eloquently? 
I don't want to say this crudely, I'm in a fairly decent mood today, and I don't want to sort of lower my vibration here, but in any event, the Queen of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles, in this uh, regard, in this, uh, let's say, context, right, in this context, is probably su suggesting that Megan thinks she's probably a little bit, you know, uh, she, let's say things have sort of progressed to a level where that's probably no longer possible uh, in any event. Now, that said, uh, she, Justice, it, it, it's such a, I can I say this is, this probably, this card is the strangest card of the whole episode so far, and it probably will be, because why would Justice come up with having a kid? Um, what, what, Justice? It's like, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of archetype is that in terms of the question? It, it's like, um, out of her control, it's just okay, having a family, uh, extending the family, it's out of her control, justice. Um, it, it, it's just something that is quite strange. I'm going to say justice is quite a strange card to see here. It's something that you wouldn't expect. It's like, what is it? Some type of, um, uh, is it like a... F you to have more, you know, F you to the Royals or whatever. I don't know. I don't understand. It's kind of like a weird card. Uh, that didn't lower my vibe, by the way. <laughs> it's like, a, it's, um, it's, you know, it would be, I think maybe let's just say that was probably a little bit too extreme. I think it's probably best if we said in this case, it's kind of like a way of harmonizing their number of children with the number of children the whales is, excuse me, the K, K the whales is, the whales, the whales is, I got it right the first time. I'm like Prince Charles and all these, I always say, I, actually, I, I was talking, talking about the king, I know those YouTubers ran into him in the Scottish, Scottish Highlands, wouldn't that be an experience? Can I just say that for a minute? I was, I was talking about that with someone the other day. Imagine walking in the Scottish Scottish Highlands and running into the king alone on a trail. What would you say to him? Can you imagine that? I mean, you'd be shocked, wouldn't you? You'd be shocked. Maybe not if you're a local, but I don't know. You know, wouldn't you be shocked? It's quite something. To run into a king in the middle of a Highlands. It's like a mystical experience almost. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Not many people would get, I'll tell you that much. Um, all right. What would you say to him? Would you bring it? Like, would you bring it up? Like I'm um, talking to a king right now. <laughs> Most of us probably wouldn't have the manners for that. Uh, in any event, I think you'd be quite gracious. Okay, so it's like evening the score. So uh, it's out of her control. All right, how do they propose to do this? Is this okay? Question time. Is it something they're going to be working on actively? Let's let's drill down. Is this going to be worked on actively? Cards are hot. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Two of Coins, and the Prince of Swords, Prince of Pentacles. Look at this. Same card again, but also yeah, the Justice card as well. Okay, so I would say that... Yeah, they, they, yes, this is being worked on. Uh, Page of Pentacles is, it's like, let's say, a manifestation card. You want to say that? manifestation, bring it to reality, um, the Page of Cups is, an interesting card, but, you know, I, I think that Megan wants this, actually, Harry wants it too, Megan wants this, now, whether, will it happen, it's hard to say, how are they going to bring this about? Um, interesting. I just find it's very interesting. The Queen of Swords is there. Will it happen? It's dear. Yeah. The Prince of Swords. This we're gonna. This knight moving in with a sword. Sort of fast activity. It's it's like quickly, quickly, quickly coming in quickly. Uh, metal element. You know, metal. So I would think intervention of some sort. Metal element coming in quickly. You know that type of stuff. Um. You know, I mean, who, you know, that's kind of interesting. I mean, watch this space. Maybe there'll be another IVF clinic where they shut the doors into a runner. 
Um, perhaps, you know, you never know. Watch this space. I, I think, will it, will it happen? Will it happen? Will it happen? Now, that's a question we should ask. Let's go. Cards are hot. Birth Mother, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, interesting. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, King of Swords. King of Swords. We're we talking about what's this? What sort of professional is this? King of Swords, Five of Coins, Underlying Energy, Nine of Wands. Oh, I was thinking the energy there was looking so good. We're looking so good. Wouldn't you be happy? Um, <laughs> wouldn't it be? It'd be a joyous thing. Um, nine of wands. Ah, and the five of coins. I'm going to say it looks like they're going to give it a go. I'm going to say that. It looks like uh, that it's possible they're going to give it a go. Like I said, intervention may be a thing here that's coming up again. Um, uh, that That's going to be sort of possible, let's say. It's possible that intervention's here. When I say possible, it looks like it. Um, so, also, the Five of Cups <coughs> doesn't suggest good things. It doesn't suggest good outcomes, necessarily. Let's ask another question. This is the bonus question for today's episode. Will they employ... Um, a, the use of a third party, let's say, to sort of make this happen, to bring this about. Cards are hot. Interesting underlying energy coming up here. Ace of Swords, the Ten of Coins, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Uh, interesting. Four of Wands, the Tower. The Tower. Okay, what else? The Nine of Wands and lastly, the interesting, the same cards. King of Swords and the Five of Coins again. Uh, even the Five of Swords will throw there. Okay, so... Will they use a third party? Yeah, the King of Swords is coming up again. So this to me looks like a professional of some description who uses, you know, uh, objects, instruments, let's say made of metal. I mean, this is probably like IVF, right? Um, the, the tower is not a kind of a generally... Uh, yeah, no, those cards... Are, the, okay, the Five of Swords, the Five of Coins, the Nine of Wands and the Tower suggest the outcome's not looking good necessarily, but in any event, it looks like they're going to try. Um, will this happen? I'm going to say probably not. That's what I'm going to say. That's going to be my... You know, but has that stopped them before? <laughs> Let it be known. Let it be known. Let it be known. I've had a great time today. I'll, I'll just, just, I'll say that. I've had a great time. I'm going to go make a very catchy thumbnail now. And uh, what else can I say? I've got a good story to tell on the paranormal side. Um, <laughs> I don't think now's the time, though. Probably it's its own episode. It involves chickens. Uh, <laughs> that'd be known. You can probably guess what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Round three. That's what we're going to call today's episode on the thumbnail. Round three. Uh, good times. All right. I will see you. I'll love you and leave you, of course. And I'm going to go smell this oud and enjoy my ring and homemade pizzas tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Homemade pizzas with yeast and organic flour and all the rest of it. I've been mean, trying to find this particular type of um, uh, tomato that they use in Italy for the, the sauce. San Marino, I think it is. Is that right? I'm along those lines. I'm having trouble finding it. I might have to order it online. But I like making the sauce, actually. I'm a, I'm a big 
tomato. Hang on, let me just find out. San Ma Marzano, excuse me, San Marzano. And there's probably some Italians that are just choking on their, uh, you know, whatever, their um, limoncello or whatever. I don't know what you guys are drinking. Someone, San Marzano, those are the ones they use. You can get them in cans as well, but make your own sauce. Amazing. Um, let it be known. Woolworths. Okay, all right, let's have a look. Woolworths, apparently. Uh, I'll check it out. Okay, all right. I'll let that let that be known. Um, I will love you and leave you, of course. And I'll see you in the comments.